Hello and welcome back. Good afternoon, good morning, good night, wherever you are. We are going to be reviewing Beastars Chapter 45, A Black Hole Beneath Her Eyelashes. So, last we left off, <laughs> Legosi and Haru made it back from the Love Hotel. Nothing happened, and now they've returned back to school. So, looks like Legosi is in the infirmary now. Let's see how uh, the dorm mother handles them for being uh, out all night with the rabbit. Let's see. Hmm, it's quite the deep wound. He might have gotten an infection if he came here any later. Oh, I see. And he would have gotten reported to the instructors had he came here 30 minutes later. So this is the male carnivore dorm house mother. She's a literal baboon, so let's see. And the house mother gives a fierce lecture. Huh? You still haven't told anyone? I didn't do it for you. A wolf and a bunny rabbit missing curfew together and the wolf comes back with injuries? That sounds very scandalous, don't you think? Now imagine that coming from my mouth. Well, I don't see the problem in telling them. I already told you she was abducted by the Shishigumi, which still doesn't change the fact that we both miss curfew. Don't say that name out loud. I still can't believe that you infiltrated the group all by yourself. I didn't do it alone, but I probably shouldn't tell him, tell her his name, <laughs> referring to uh, Gilleen, the panda. He might get into some legal trouble. Well, him having a machine gun and taking out a bunch of lions who were causing trouble for people, literally eating, kidnapping and eating animals. I don't think that's, <laughs> I think that's the least of the worries, Legosi. That's it. She's only paying attention to my missing curfew. She is definitely trying to avoid anything that involves the Shishigumi. This goes beyond special issues, but she thinks it's out of her hands, so she chooses to ignore it, huh? I think I knew why. I think I know why groups like the Shishigumi have so much freedom in the first place. See, I like this. Every like the complacency we've seen in the series has has come from adults, people with authority and people with power. The mayor being a perfect example of someone who could have done something about the situation with his resources, but chose not to. Like it only because it only took one person actually spring into action and do something about it. And it just so happens Goeen was there to back Legosi up. Like, from what I've seen, Goeen is the only trust the, is the only respectable and adult you can trust in this series. Like if you can't trust if you can't trust the people who are supposed to be in charge to protect you, who can you trust in this series, right? Because, you know, the mayor didn't do anything, and the house mother now, in in this situation, despite having all the work being done is choosing not to disclose what Legos he did. So, I don't know, I think that's kind of messed up. Like, he just can't trust the adults. Like, at all. And Louis realized that, and Legos he's starting to realize that himself. Oh, Juno. Please forgive Legos -y. Give him a break. He's very tired. Oh! What are you, his junior? Yes, I'm Juno, and we're in the same club. I'm worried about him as a fellow wolf. Could you leave us two alone? Oh, she actually left. I like how they just like respect Juno enough to just like give her the room with them. I would have honestly liked to see like more of Legosi going back and forth with the door mother. Like right here. Thanks, Juno, and I'm sorry to be a bother with the performance coming up. I don't mind. The club's been very restless from your sudden disappearance. I knew you would come back. You did? Of course. I know you better than anyone else in the school. We both share. The strength of a wolf. Hmm? What? What? Why did he move back? Is Legosi nervous around her? Well, you're right. Is he nervous? He must be, like, a little intimidated by Juno. Is he starting to notice her more? Hmm. Am I being paranoid? No, that can't be. Oh, what should I do? I heard uh, your talk with the house mother. You saved a bunny from the Shishigumi. I believe you. You must have went through a great ordeal. This isn't good. Oh no, I feel like he's getting beyond my reach. You look so beat up. What happened between them? Why is this happening? Why is Legosi moving back? It 
maybe it was his experience with Haru that's making him like more aware of you know the female like figure and stuff uh, let's see Lego C you told me that an animal can be relaxed in the heart if they touch an animal of the same species this is a great time to touch me let's help each other thank you why but I actually feel oddly calm right now why do you look like your heart do you look like your heart already belongs to her all right so she's trying to get the read that's a lie a delusion come on doesn't this make you feel relaxed doesn't this make you calm <laughs> she's hurting him senpai what happened between you and the bunny are you going out with her because you can't it's very wrong that's interesting okay so what makes it wrong you know you're right it is very wrong okay why would you know say that okay okay I understand why you know would say that like that's just the perception of their society like you shouldn't mix you shouldn't like interspecial relationships are probably looked down upon this in this society just because of how unnatural it is uh, you know uh, cur uh, all right it's one thing for a carnivore to be with another carnivore I think that'd be less looked down upon even but them being from the from different species a wolf and a rabbit that is very unusual so we've seen this reflected inside of a uh, Louis as well and when he commented on it and now we're seeing the same sentiment reflected in Juno and her words to him despite her being possessive I can't really blame I can't really blame Juno for how she's feeling right now it's it's a really odd situation to be in you're right it is very wrong I only saved her to protect my ego and now I realize that I'm completely fine with that that's why I don't think there's anything special between us <laughs> she's like that's even worse and I like how Legosi acknowledges his, it was his ego that drove him to save her. Because, let's not forget, he very much subconsciously, deep down, he views Haru as prey. Even if that's not what he, ver what he vocalizes, like on his own. The way you're talking makes it sound like you're in love with her. Like your love with her is pure. Huh? Don't you get it? I don't... Alright, so we're in Juno's head. I don't think my pride can take any more of this. This school is undergoing a great change, so I want you to adapt to it. It seems Louis doesn't come back. A new era will come where carnivores will be treated with respect. Louis? Huh? He's not here? Why? If you want to know, then come to the Meteor Festival. Then you'll know everything. I've learned to dance really good. I want you to at least see me in the performance interesting okay so th they don't know Lu uh, Louie went to the Shishigumi base I'm guessing he did that on his own it makes sense that Louie would know where it's at as well that makes perfect sense since he was uh, you know born there well not born there he just kind of lived there so oh oh Haru came to see him okay so this is good 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 this is Juno and Haru's first encounter with each other Oh, I love little world building stuff. Let's see what it says. A Sudan plated lizard has lost their tail in the main building. Can you find it, please? Take it to the infirmary. Okay. This? This is the pipsqueak Legos he likes? Um. Oh, sorry. Come on in. Mm, there's something scary about this girl. I'll just come in later. <laughs> Haru knows. Well, I don't have any business in there. I'll just be going. Uh, okay. Oh, this is funny. Okay, so this is just... Uh, it's that it's based off that meme. I forgot what it was, but it it's like, you know, they're slowly walking, and then they pick up the pace, and then they just start, like, booking it with one person chasing after the other person. I love this. This is this is a reference. I don't remember the, the specific meme, though. But I've seen this all over, like, the internet. Hey, what's wrong with you? All right, so she catches Haru. Do you think you can make Lego see happy? Oh, she's calling her out. What? What's your problem? I don't even know who you are and you're acting really rude. I'm Haru, a third year. Tell me your name. <laughs> Be it 
be it uh, bullying from her own species or another, Haru's not taking it at all. Watch your step when you're walking in the stairs. Carnivores must treat herbivores kindly. Herbivores must treat carnivores gently. This is the key to enjoying life in this school. Oh, more world building stuff. I'm sorry, I'm Juno of first year. Unlike Legosi, she's popular. She's a wolf like him and cute too. Oh boy. I I heard last night things were complicated between you and Legosi. She's in her head. Very complicated. Well, yeah. It's nothing you need to be worried about, so you should calm down. Why does this bunny sound so mature? She's all white and so small. Legosi. Make Legosi happy, huh? That sounds nice. Mm, does she have a crush on Legosi now? She talks like a grown-up, but sounds like a child. I think you can make him happy with the affection you have for him. Oh, okay, so here it is. We're seeing we're seeing that side of Juno again. We we saw it. We saw it before uh, during her interaction with Louis, but we're seeing it again now with Haro. How she's taking control of the situation, using her, um, using using her femininity because this is very much a uh, uh, what's it called a dominant position for her to be in. Like Juno likes to Juno very much likes to like overpower people using her like uh you know her strength as a carnivore but she doesn't like hurting people that's the difference what's she doing she's the polar opposite of me why do i have to lose to her calm down you know okay so what's she doing i was just late that's all what hey Okay, so she's smelling her. I wonder if she's trying to get her scent so she could... Okay, so it makes sense, dog. Alright, so she has a sharp nose just like Legosi, so I'm wondering if she's just sniffing her to make sure if they had sex or not. That's what's happening, I'm pretty sure. But Juno is, a, is at her best when she's dominating, though. That scene with Louie when she had him pinned, and now it's the same thing with Haru. So let's see what happens. What? Why am I always attracting wolves? Oh, I see now. I figured it out from smelling you. You didn't have sex with them, did you? Obviously. Oh, did you think that's what I was that I was trying to eat you? I don't have to do that to prove that I'm the better female. I'll show you what I mean in the meteor festival. Huh? The beautiful beast filled with ambition declares war. I'll be seeing you later for sure. Okay. I like this interaction. So, Gino figures out she still has a chance, right? She's not too late. They haven't had sex. And she's asserting her dominance as, you know, the superior female species to be with Legosi. Now, the thing to note about this is Juno is... Alright, so Juno's not wrong for feeling the way that she's feeling. But she's being really possessive about Legosi. Like, just the... Like... I don't know, man. Like, the same way that Legosi acknowledged how, you know, he... Uh, what did he say? He acknowledged... He, sh he should have acknowledged how Haru was feeling at the time. What if Legosi didn't want to be Juno's boyfriend? I know Legosi is kind of oblivious to the fact that Juno likes him. But at the same time, Juno is not really taking in into consideration what Legosi m might want. She's looking down on a potential relationship between a herbivore like Haru and a carnivore like Legosi. Ever since they met and she wanted to know more about him, she just sort of claimed him without without Legosi say so. I mean, in most anime that most anime and like other media like manga and stuff, that'd be cute because you know, you're used to this personality trait from oh wow, well, you know, jealous female waifu and she's cute, so the main character has a harem. Beastars does things quite tastefully and respectfully in terms of, uh, you know, relationship building like that. So I'm curious to see how this is going to go because they still have the Meteor Festival, which is like the next day, I believe. So I don't know. Maybe Juno's going to pull something during that, uh, during her performance or dance or whatever. I don't know. I'm just curious to see how this is going to go. 
I'm not like I like Juno as a character. I'm just not a big fan of Juno's actions up until this point. But um, I can't I can't really blame her. But Legos, he's not the type of character where you just win over just because he he's very dead set on you know his love for Haru. So whether Juno respects that or not, that's it remains to be it remains to be seen because she's very prideful as a carnivore. And as a gray wolf. So that's the end of chapter 45. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you next time. Comment, rate, subscribe if you like for more content. And I'll see you during chapter 46.